Hi there and welcome to tutorial 54. Today I'm going to be looking at uh, an Emerson Lake and Palmer track featuring the late Keith Emerson and the track is called Trilogy from the album Trilogy. There we are. And this is uh, one of the many riffs that um, uh, ELP did. It's in 5-4 and the riff goes like this. Etc. So I'm going to show you how I got that sound and we're going to move on to an initial setting and this gives us one oscillator. Um, oscillator number one is on a 16 foot pitch and it's on a pulse wave but the pulse width is 58. So a bit of a reedy sound going on there. We'll click in oscillator two uh, which is on an eight foot pitch so there's an octave difference between these two and the pulse width this time is 68. So again, quite a reedy sound. And uh, we're going to detune that by uh, 8. We've got a very rich kind of sound already there. Um, oscillator 3, we'll click that one in, is going to be on an 8 foot pitch, but this time it's a pulse waveform uh, with value 78. So even narrower. So we're building up quite a, a thick texture there. Um, but we're actually going to use um, a major third interval, which translates as four semitones. So that essentially gives us a kind of a major chord. are actually one, two, three, four major chords throughout the piece. Um, I'll move on to the filter section now, and we've got uh, a low pass filter, 24 dB per octave. And of course, the original synth that um, Keith Emerson would have used on this would be a modular Moog synth. Um, and we've got cutoff 82. And resonance 66. Key track, key track is 50. And what that tends to do is it emphasises the lower end of the keyboard. I could, I could of course opened up the filter further, but um, for these purposes, key track 50. And we're going to use the filter envelope uh, amount of 22. And attack zero, decay 60. that kind of sound. Sustain 0, release 66. And the amplifier envelope is velocity 0, because obviously it would have been non-touch responsive, is uh, modular Moog. Um, attack 0, decay 52. The sustain is 98. So the effect of that is it gives a bit more of a punch to the sound and uh, the release is 66. Okay. Got a bit of reverb on there as well. Just, just check that. Actually, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong value. The release is 30. That's better. Um, but we're also going to use a bit of reverb and the reverb time is 57 and the level 65. Now, I'm pretty sure that um, when Keith Emerson recorded the part, he probably double tracked this um, synth part because it's a very, very thick sound, but of course Moog was famous for its thick sounds. Um, but the, there seems to be a lot, of, lot going on in the original track. But now we're going to move on to the lead sound. Uh, and the lead sound is this one, 743. I'll just refer to my notes on this. Uh. Okay, uh, you will hear that in the track. Oh, you have heard that in the track because we played the track first of all, and we'll play a little bit of an outro of that as well. Um, but this is... Um, 
uh, a sound characteristic uh, characterized by a pulse waveform again, just like the bass riff, um, and with a heavy vibrato, a fast vibrato. But let's have a look to see how we got that sound. We'll go on to an initial setting, which gives us one oscillator. And oscillator one is on a four foot pitch and the pulse width is 61. There we are. And so that's a, a slightly uh, thinner sound than uh, the 50% square wave. 61, slightly reedy sound. And oscillator number two is on a pulse waveform. This time, the pulse width is 69. That's also on a four foot pitch. There we are. So we've got two roughly at the same pitch, but if I detune the second oscillator, we've got a little thickening of the sound there. Um, now I'm also going to set up mono and glide. So the glide is the portamento, and the glide rate is 40. There we are, glide rate 40. And I'm also going to set up the modulation wheel, because I need some vibrato in there. So if we go to wheel in the modulation section, the sine wave is applied to oscillators 1 and 2 for vibrato, and the speed is quite fast, 65. Now normally, uh, the vibrato would be in the region of 50 on this knob, uh, but 65 is, is quite fast. And the depth is 23, which gives us that effect. Okay, moving on to the filter. We've got a low pass filter, 24 dB per octave, cut off 82. Okay, we've got some resonance in there, 55. There we are, key track 93. So it gets brighter as you move up the keyboard. No drive on here. The filter envelope is amount 33. And uh, attack zero, decay 81. There we are. Sustain 34. And release 38. The idea of having some sustain level in there is to, to maintain the filter um, open um, at a certain point. So move that back to 34. Okay, now on to the velocity there, zero. Uh, attack 31. So a bit of a fade into the sound. Slight fade in. Decay 52. Uh, sustained level 127, release 32. Uh, this time we're going to use the default reverb, which is time 100. Yeah, there we are, it's, it's all the way up to 100 there. And the level is 16. So that's pretty much the sound that we've got there, and I'll just play a little bit of that. And thanks very much for listening.